Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX mate. In this video we are going to take a look at creating a fully responsive slider in the Figma itself. We will be using auto layout and nested components or interactive components here. Make sure you watch this video till end to understand each and every tricks we are going to use in this video. Well, if you have not subscribed yet, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because if you are not hit it, then you are going to definitely miss a lot of exciting design tutorials in the future. Let's jump into the Figma and get started with this slider. So what we have in the file as of now is we have a test frame, you know, just to test out our slider prototype. And then what we'll be doing, we'll be taking frame tool and we'll be drawing a frame. Let me just see, you know, dimensions of this around 484 okay let's do it same as of now we can keep it anything let's just start with you know our test frame great uh, what I'll be doing now I'll renaming this as slider container make sure you know you follow the naming convention as well because this is going to be a little bit complicated so names are definitely going to help us you know in uh, remembering you know which layer we have to adjust which component or which frame we have to adjust great uh, let me just you know give a little bit of height here as well somewhere around uh, 250 okay makes sense now what we are going to do here is we are going to you know create a couple of frames inside this uh, as of now let me create outside only then we can you know bring them in this frame i'll be having a you know left hand arrow I'll just change the color here for our reference and I'll name it previous and then I'll create another one for next so I have my next and previous buttons and what we need is uh, we need something to you know keep them always stick to left and right side we can use constraints and we'll be using constraints but we'll be not using constraints in the internal components so let me create you know again a sample frame which is going to be our adjuster adjuster let me select all of these together shift a for auto layout and it has created a frame i'll call this you know controls controls uh, what we can do is you know this adjuster or also you know we can rename this as a uh, we can say indicator we can uh, use this you know to show the indications or like to indicate on which slide we are right now and what we are going to do is we are going to keep it as a, a fill container on the width right and then let me you know just remove the padding in the auto layout so now if you see uh, this control com uh, control frame you know it is completely responsive frame what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust this you know to align at the bottom center and then what I'll be doing instead of you know having this as a fill uh, container as height okay let's keep it as it as uh, let's keep it fill as of now and let's just add you know indicators in this I'll be having let's say two or three for now those are just placeholders we can you know change them with actual graphics whatever you want and let me you know uh, make this as well uh, auto layout and I'll again align it at the bottom center I'll adjust the spacing maybe somewhere around 15 pixels or maybe more let's say 10 great so now if you see uh, I can you know easily change the width let's just test out height as well okay great height is also working good now what we have to do we have to you know make this previous and next as a field container on the height and then uh, fixed on the width okay great uh, what we'll be doing now we'll be creating a uh, we'll be creating one more frame for slider or the actual slides so i have this frame which is going to be my slide let me just give it some different color 
great so what we'll be doing uh we'll be then you know uh keeping our sides slides inside uh this particular you know instance or this particular frame and these would be our controls overlapping this slide okay uh let me just move this slide in our slider control a uh, slider container frame and let me you know align it to the corners and change the width of this to you know fit the entire width of my slider container what i'm going to do now here is i'll be you know adding the constraints to my slide layer left and right top and bottom so now whenever i change my you know uh, parent frame which is slider container it changes the width for the slide as well okay so we can you know add our slides uh, here inside in this slide frame and what i'll be doing now i'll be moving this controllers as well in this same frame okay uh, we don't need them within the slide but we need them outside the slide so i'll just make it like this same thing again we are going to do here is like we'll be aligning them perfectly then stretching it out to the edges let's go inside this frame and you know uh, select this and make it as a fill container figma has a glitch uh, whenever you know you change the size or whenever you move some frames in you know another frames or change the height and width uh, then it you know changes for the internal elements as well as as you see like we had made it as a fixed uh, sorry fill container and then but when we change the height and width of the parent it you know again reset the width to fixed width sometimes you know it is a bit tricky we need to keep a uh, keep on you know uh, we need to keep eye on you know internal frames as well so now if you see it is uh, it is not adjusting because we haven't added the constraints to the control so what we are going to do here we'll be you know having the controls on the left and right again we can do on the top and bottom so now if you see i can adjust the width and uh, it is you know adjusting very well so let me select this uh, indicator layer and let me just you know hide the fill for this so we can see our slides in the background now what we'd be doing here we'd be you know basically creating a animation here or first you know we'll create components out of this so this is our basic structure you know you can go ahead without a component as well you just have to you know uh replace the internal contents and then on click of this you can create three frames and then you know you can have three images in three frames but what we'll be doing we'd be having you know internal uh frames itself which would be our uh constraints let me create a component here and then let me create variants okay so we have three layers that's why i have created three variants let me just you know adjust the width here as well and what i'll be doing i'll be you know keeping this as a first frame this as a second frame this as a first frame this is a second frame and then let me you know just change the width a little bit more oops sorry this as a third frame let me just change the colors here for the internal layers or let me do it completely you know yeah so we have three colors here and what we'll be doing we'll be creating the interaction here great so now just test this out we'll take this default instance and make a copy of this outside the content uh, outside the component and then we'll be you know moving it in our frame 
let me just align it center and uh, to top let's just test this prototype see on click of you know uh, these buttons your slide is being changed you can you know uh, i guess we missed the third interaction to first but yeah it is working fine on the reverse direction let's just fix this as well we'll take the prototype from the this button to you know back to the first slide now our you know slider is complete let's just you know quickly see if it is still responsive or not if you you know missed any of the properties here let me quickly add an auto layout to my parent frame and i'll just give it as a fixed height and maybe fixed width and then let me just have some around 700 just to test out or maybe a little bit more great now let me you know try resizing this okay uh, it is not because we haven't given it as a field container now it should be great so if you see this our responsive slider is ready now let's just you know test this slider let me just again open the prototype and now you can see our endless slider is ready now let's just fix these uh, you know indicators as well just you know we need to swap the colors so let's say you know first being active uh, we'll change the you know colors for these two as white then would be having first and third as white in this and then would be having first and second as white we can definitely create uh, components for each and every element like for those arrows or the control buttons the internal frames and then you can keep it you know uh, very fancy with the components and you know you can keep it up to date or like you can you know update your parent component it will be updated in all of the childs so now let's just you know test about the height as well if it is you know working well or not let me just select this and let me manually resize the height okay great it is working fine so now what you have to do you can replace your content in those slide frames instead of colors you can put in your images and then you can you know uh, create this interactive slider fully responsive i hope guys you have enjoyed this video hopefully you have subscribed to the channel if not go ahead and subscribe now and don't forget to hit the bell icon because that is going to you know keep you updated with all our future uploads so stay tuned till the next tutorial have a good day